Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have a Doppler on the mitral valve. One take uh, measure for uh, rule outing is stenosis, mitral valve stenosis, mitral valve inflow, trace as you can see this way, start from here, end it this way, and the other suggests uh, we have to do this one, start here and tracing and end it here. Is there any of them, is any of them right or not? What is the correct one? And second, when we have uh, doing Doppler, like this case, for example, before we go for measurement on this case, what optimizing changes we have to do uh, for more accurate and better. Here we have a Doppler, as you can see, sample volume has been in the mitral valve annulus. Okay, this Doppler, when we use it, for which purpose? And for that purpose, beside of this, what we have to do extra and what will be the final result? What we come to these two study? Here we have a call, a five chamber view on the aorta. We put it continuous and we get this Doppler. Can you tell uh, what is, uh, as you can see, especially in this envelope, you will see two spectrum, one here, wider, as you can see, and another this one. What is each of them? Can we use this one uh, for some specific purpose or not, both of them? Can we measure both of these two? And what for? we? do that if we have such a Doppler. Here we have a maps V. Uh, we want to measure S prime on this case, mitral valve annulus medial S prime or maps V. Which of these uh, following is correct for measurement? This one, this or this or finally this one. Here we have, we are going to measure taps V. Which of them is correct? This one, this one, this one, and what is your landmark? Here, the patient with the exertional dyspnea. Uh, we did this study. As you can see on 2D, uh, mitral valve inflow, tissue doppler on mitral valve medial and lateral, and finally, uh, borsalvo. First of all, uh, what specific feature this patient has on the 2D here? Do you, can you name it? What is that sign? Is really one of the important sign on this case. What do you call it? And when you uh, found it, how you can prove it? We have that sign. First, second, based on all of this finding, what is the most probably diagnosis on this patient? Okay, this one. What is this type of the study? What which modality is it? and how we use it, when we use it, and what has been measured here. Here we have PSAX or short access parasternal on the level of papillary muscle. What type of the study is this? And what has been measured and what is diagnosis and what we use for? Here we have a view. Can you name what view is this? First, second, we have some here regurgitation. Uh, do we do on this case uh, Doppler, continuous Doppler, and measure peak or not? Does it re does it be reliable if we do cursor here and uh, capture this regurgitation and can we uh, account on it for the peak uh, gradient on this one? And finally, it's not a bad idea. Can you name it? What is this structure? So what view? Do, do we use this Doppler for con measuring peak uh, velocity on this jet? And what is this structure? Uh, please, uh, before we go for the answer and watching this, first of pause it and go over them and think and yourself brainstorming and 
find the answer for yourself for all of them then uh, check it out and match it uh, with correct answer now let's go for the answer 